Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This is a quick beginner's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to take this flat sphere here, this flat circle, pardon me, and turn it into a dimensional sphere just like this with lighting shadows. And we're going to do it in like 60 seconds at the most. It's got depth, it's got dimensionality. It's very easy to do to create 3D shapes. Let's go step by step. First step, I'm going to go File New and I'm going to create, it doesn't really matter, any size will do. Got a white background the next step on the left side in your toolbar just grab the ellipse tool and then drag out an ellipse hold down shift if you want it to be symmetrical and presto there we go we've got a fill of white so on the right side here under properties i'm going to click on fill and i'm going to change that to red and then under stroke i'm going to turn it to off so i'm just going to click on this little one line one red line means no strokes so there we go we've got our little sphere here or our little circle part of me but we want to make it 3d all you got to do go to window at the top and then drop down and see 3D and materials. When you do that, you get a few options. The first way to do this is to simply click on inflate. If you click on inflate, you'll see here that we've created a cool sphere with lighting. You can see the light source is the top right coming down. There's, a sh there's some shadow on the bottom and it really does look the part. I'm gonna show you a second way to do it while I got you here, because this might be the way you prefer, because it's got fewer points. I'm gonna do another one here. And here we go, I'm gonna grab my little sphere tool or my little circle tool, ellipse tool, whatever you want to call it, drag out an ellipse, hold down shift, make it dimensional. I'm going to quickly change up the colors. This one's going to be blue, so the stroke will be blue, and the, oh, pardon me, the stroke will be nothing, but the fill will be blue. And let me show you a second way to do this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab and move over to the direct selection tool, and then I'm going to click on the, the uh, circle, grab the direct selection tool like I've done here, and then you can actually just click on one of these points, delete only this point here, you see that blue point, click on delete, we get half a circle. Now into 3D and materials, which should be somewhere up there. Remember, if you don't see it, click on it, make sure it's available under 3D and materials. Now you can simply revolve this and there we go. This is a second way to create a cool sphere and it's pretty similar to the previous one. Uh, the um, You'll notice here that the shadow is a little bit on the left side versus this one is more on the left bottom, but there you go. This is two ways to do it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.